ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम माय बाउ टू द लॉर्ड वसुदेवा जय टू यू फ्रेंड्स वी बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द सफरिंग द लेमेंटिंग ऑफ आवर जर्नी when he's between the two field between the two battles fronts the kauravas and the pandavas the bad side and the good side in his own nature and he is saying i would find even a life of begging preferable to slaying and parenthesis these my ancient and self-defining realities preceptors of all that i have ever been and known even if they are wrong they have nevertheless been my teachers what happiness could i find if in seeking it i stooped so low as to shed their blood honestly there's a lot of wonderful humor in this bhagavad gita how the uh lamenting that people feel that they've got to give up this and that and the other um there is a in that movie around the world in 80 days when the at the very end there they've run out of steam they have nothing to stoke the fires with on the ship and so they finally take all the wood even the um um what do you call that the effigy i can't remember the proper name it's called henrietta and this man in the boiler room says oh not her not henrietta and this is what people feel oh not that quality Oh not this quality we become very fond of our own nature as it is it's what we've cuddled and clung to for many incarnations some people feel very proud they're sophisticated they're erudite they're um cultured and they look down on people who aren't and there are others who say that uh, well I'm strong physically I don't care about culture I just care about um doing what i have to do so in logs or whatever else all the things that people do well i'm a very good cook and uh, uh somebody else says oh i i'm very good at running i used to be a fast runner myself and uh i define myself by that to a certain point and now in my old age i find it difficult to walk well fortunately i've had a miracle and i can walk more easily now but a few months ago i was going in a wheelchair now i can walk easily but uh, these things happen to us and as you get old you find that you no longer had the qualities that you had physically but as you get old you may cling still to your stubbornness to your qualities of thinking you're a scientist or intellectual or whatever all these have to go don't weep for them just accept that what i am is not what i am i am the infinite spirit i am he shivoham 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 this is the beautiful song of uh, uh adi shankara charya so arjuna is saying which is better that they conquer us or we them you see how the mind plays we're supposed to not be harmful we're supposed not to do evil we're supposed not to kill and therefore wouldn't it be wrong to kill them it wouldn't it even be more spiritual and more spiritually right to let them conquer us wouldn't we show our humility in that way our non-aggressiveness oh the mind can come up with all sorts of reasons for uh, not doing what it ought to do and so he says how can we even wish to live after slaying these our cousins the sons of dhritarashtra even though ranged before us they threaten us with war o oh, poor arjuna my very being is stricken with weakness of uncertainty please help me to know for certain what i must do what is my right path i am thy disciple i take refuge in thee now this is the point 
at which the devotee has to know that he needs help. We can't get there on our own. We have to have someone to tell us. When I met my guru, he told me, first of all, I give you my unconditional love. He asked me to give, my, give him my unconditional, unconditional love, and I said yes. And then he said, will you give me your unconditional obedience? <clears throat> I wanted to be honest with him, desperate though I was. I said, sir, how can I give my, my obedience unconditionally if sometime I think you're wrong? And he said, I will never ask anything of you that God does not tell me to ask. And then he said that when I met my guru, he gave me his unconditional love and asked me to give him mine. And I said, but sir, how can I love you unconditionally if I find that you are less than a Christ-like master? And these were master's words to me. I'm sure it's not what Sri Yukteswar really said to master. But master told me that Sri Yukteswar then had said, I don't want your love, it stinks. Well, then I... I understood, because I'd had that tendency to doubt. And I said, I understand, sir. I give you my unconditional love. And I have never gone back on that promise. I have always, because of love, my love and devotion for God and for God manifested through him, that has been my salvation. Without that, where would I have been? Absolutely nowhere. I needed someone to tell me what I needed to do because before my own reason, there were all these paths opening up. I didn't know which was right. How could I know what qualities? When, for example, one, one thought I had was to be a hermit. But he knew that I had this need to help other people. And uh, in fact, when I came across the country to meet him, my two thoughts were, one, I want to find God. And the other was, this is such a wonderful truth. I want to share it with everybody. I want the whole world to know these, this wonderful teaching. And he saw this side in me and he knew that that was what I needed to grow. I needed to help other people. So he had me teaching. That would, be, would have been the last thing that I would have put myself in. When I found these teachings and took Kriya Yoga and wanted to meditate, I didn't want to get out there. I was afraid that it would pull me into delusion. I was afraid that people's praise might go to my head. All sorts of things. <coughs> All the pity he showed me was you better learn to like it. That is what you will have to do. But he was very firm. And there was one time when I really got quite upset with him. And uh, he, his answer to that was living for God is martyrdom. And he would have no truck with any weakness on my part. This was what my destiny was. Well, if I hadn't him to, had him to tell me, I would have become a hermit. And I might have been happy to be a hermit, but I wouldn't have gained the qualities that I needed. I wouldn't have advanced as I needed to do. To follow him again and again, I have seen, I've never, never uh, hesitated to do his will. But uh, there have been times when I've resisted that will a little bit when he wanted me to edit, and I thought he wanted me to develop devotion, and here he's got me working on intellect. But he was right. I was wrong. Again and again I have seen, by using my intellect in the right way, you don't have to kill your intellect. You have to, sh have to redirect it. All your qualities, you don't have to kill them. You have to redirect their energies. You lose nothing. You gain everything. Joy to you.